Hello, this is Dr. Loach from humanbodyhelp.com and in this video I'll be running through the muscles of the torso model. This muscle right here is pectoralis major. We can see some of the fibers of serratus anterior over here and serratus anterior looks like a saw blade on the front. That's where it gets its name from. Serratus anterior fibers tie in with the external abdominal oblique fibers, which are right here. Here we have rectus abdominis, and what we've done here on this side is remove the rectus sheath so that we can see the muscle fibers. Here we've got white lines in the middle of the rectus abdominis muscle, which separate the fibers to give those fibers extra leverage. These white lines are called tendinous inscriptions or tendinous intersections. On this side, you'll notice that the fibers of this oblique muscle are running the same direction as the fibers over here. These fibers are external oblique fibers. If we had external oblique fibers over on this side, they would run in this direction. But since these fibers are running in this direction on the opposite side, but on the same direction as these, this would be internal oblique fibers. The external oblique fibers running like this and the internal oblique fibers running like this cross to make the abdominal wall stronger. Down here we have tensor fascia lata. Right here we have rectus femoris. This is a sartorius muscle right here. Some of the muscles we can see on the back here, here would be the trapezius, upper trapezius fibers, middle trapezius fibers, and then lower trapezius fibers. This muscle right here is going to be the infraspinatus muscle. This muscle right here, you can see the separator line right here between infraspinatus and teres minor. Teres major will be right here, and we also have part of the latissimus dorsi muscle. In between the ribs here, we have intercostal muscles, and they would be external intercostal muscles. Right? Down here, we have quadratus lumborum muscles. And then in here, between the transverse processes, we have intertransverse area muscles. Okay? This, of course, is gluteus maximus right here. And here we can see the sciatic nerve coming out and running down the back of the leg. These would be fibers of serratus anterior reaching around and grabbing onto the ribs. These fibers right here would be fibers of the internal abdominal oblique. We can also see deltoid here, long head of the triceps here. Some of the muscles we can see in the neck on this model, here we can see the upper trapezius fibers here. We're going to have splenius capitis in here. And we'll also have scalenes in here, middle and posterior scalene, anterior scalene would be deep in here. Here's the brachial plexus emerging between anterior and middle scalene. This right here is the sternocleidomastoid named for its attachment to the sternum, the clavicle, and the mastoid process of the temporal bone up here. This right here would be the fibers of the omohyoid coming from the scapula going up to the hyoid bone under here. Here are also fibers of omohyoid. This right here would be fibers of sternohyoid. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.